Hello, I'm JW, and today we're looking at the CNC machine again, and today we're going to be engraving a panel, and it's uh, following on from the last video where we just sort of surfaced off that MDF, and today we're going to be engraving a piece of uh, aluminium composite, or dye bond as it's uh, also known, and as we said in the previous video, it's basically a piece of plastic with a very thin film of aluminium on both sides, and this one happens to be finished in a white colour, although other colours are available, and the inside is black on this one, so of course uh, when you engrave through it, you have a white uh, background with black writing or whatever else you want on it. And this particular item is going to be for a piece of equipment. It's going to be a control panel. It's uh, basically replacing an existing one which is uh, completely broken and uh, a pile of junk. So this is the new front for that. And uh, we're going to cut it out in uh, several stages. The uh, text is one of them and then we're going to cut out the round holes obviously with a different cutting bit. Now just have a look at the uh, cutting tools we're going to use this time. Uh, this is what we're going to use for the text engraving. This is a carbide cutter, a very sharp item, uh, 0.1mm at the end, 20 degree angle, so very sharp, single flute, and it's an eighth of an inch shank there, so let's see, quite a uh, small item for that. And for the uh, actual holes, just going to cut out the uh, outline there, just using this end mill, 2mm diameter, again, eighth of an inch shank as before, and it's just a high speed steel variety, so uh, just say basically going around the uh, outline of the uh, holes we're going to be requiring. Now, I'm not going to show the entirety of the cutting because it takes a considerable amount of time, I think it's about 25 minutes in total, mainly due to the uh, rubbish path that uh, Fusion 360 has selected for the engraving. For some reason, it's decided to go in completely other direction that the text goes in, which you'll see in a moment, but apparently that's uh, all it can do, so uh, that's all we've got here. But this is only one off item, so it's not a major problem. So uh, let's get to the uh, cutting action already in progress. <laughs> Thank you. 
So that's the uh, panel now complete, just remove the uh, bits that obviously were cut out there at the end and uh, text is obviously cleaned up uh, fairly well. It's better getting a view of the uh, camera there but uh, nevertheless it uh, looks all right on there. The uh, current text there by the way is on a uh, bit of paper hanging on a nail next to the equipment so of course this is uh, vastly superior. So all that remains now is to put the various things in the holes which are basically some switches in the larger holes and some indicators in the smaller ones and then obviously it's going to have to be wired up and fitted in its uh, final location. So uh, that's pretty much it for this video and until next time, thanks for watching.